All right, in this video, I'm going to find the Maclaurin series expansion for sine x. We're not going to verify that sine x does, in fact, have a Maclaurin series expansion, because, again, not all functions can you do this with. We're not going to prove that it is valid. Um, we're just going to show that if it does have one, what its uh, expansion would be. So, again, basically, we simply have to fill in this formula. So. It, for our function f of x that we're going to find the expansion for, we're centering at a equals 0, so we have to fill in f of a plus f prime of a over 1 factorial x minus a to the first, plus f double prime of a over 2 factorial x minus a squared. We would have f triple prime of a over 3 factorial x minus a cubed, uh, plus et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to keep going on. So in this one, we're going to let our function be sine x. And since we're doing a Maclaurin series, by definition, that's at a equals 0. So in this case, our series expansion is going to look like sine x, that's the function we're using, equals, well, f of 0 plus f prime of 0 over 1 factorial. Uh, simply, when we fill in, we could write x minus 0, but we just abbreviate that to x. Likewise, f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial, um, we would have x uh, minus 0 squared, etc. So the only thing we really have to do here is just uh, compute the values for f of 0, f prime of 0, f double prime of 0, f triple prime of 0, um, and basically just fill those in and we'll have our formula. So I usually make a little table. So f of x is just sine x. The first derivative would simply be cosine x. The second derivative would be negative sine x. Our third derivative here is simply going to be negative cosine x. And then when we get to our fourth derivative, we're going to be back at positive sine x. So uh, back where we started. So if we evaluate things, if we plug 0 into sine x, we get sine of 0. But sine of 0 is 0. Then we'll have f prime of 0, which is going to be cosine of 0, which is just positive 1. And then we'll have f double prime of 0. Again, we'll get uh, sine of 0 will be 0. So we'll just get a 0 out. f triple prime of 0 um, we'll get now negative 1. And then our fourth derivative, um, again, we'll be back to the value 0. So I think we can probably fill these things in here and start spotting a little pattern and trying to write it a little more compactly. So it says sine x is going to be equal to f of 0, which is just, well, 0, so I'm not even going to write it down. f prime of 0 is going to be positive 1. Um, our double prime at 0 is going to be simply 0, so we're not going to have our x squared term uh, present either in the expansion. And then it says f triple prime of 0, that's going to be negative 1. Okay, and I think, again, you can kind of convince yourself what's going to happen. The x to the fourth term is going to be 0. And then we're going to get a positive 1 over 5 factorial x to the fifth. Our x to the sixth term will be 0, but then we'll get a negative 1 over 7 factorial x to the seventh, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it looks like we're only getting odd powers for sine, and that's definitely the case. Uh, also, we're getting uh, um, odd uh, factorials in the denominator. And the last thing is, notice that it's alternating signs. So we can rewrite this a little more compactly. Uh, let's see, we can start this maybe at, we'll start it at n equals 1. And in this case, um, the first term needs to be positive. So I'm going to have a negative 1 raised to the n plus 1. That way when I plug in n equals 1, I'll get negative 1 to an even power, so I'll get positive 1. And then when I plug in um, n equals 2, my next term will be negative uh, and then positive negative. So that's going to take care of the alternating part. 
It looks like we've always got x's to even powers. And the way that we can write uh, the fact that it's to even powers, we can take, or excuse me, not to even powers, but to odd powers. What I want to say is it's jumping multiples of 2. Um, but in this case, we have to take x and raise it to not just uh, an even number 2. But if we take 2 times n, that's going to get us to our even powers. But we don't want even powers. We want odd powers. So I think we can use 2n minus 1. Because now if I plug in n equals 1, we'll get 2 minus 1, which will give us x to the first. Plug in 2, that will jump you up to x to the fourth. But then we'll subtract 1, which will give us x to the third, etc. So that's now taking care of the, um, the odd powers that we're getting. And simply, whatever the exponent is, the factorial is always the same thing. So in the denominator, I'm just going to put 2n minus 1 factorial. And now we have got our Maclaurin series expansion for sine x.